There's this relatively um, rare phenomenon that's sometimes called blind sight, and I think it emerges usually in uh, individuals who've had uh, surgery to sever the corpus callosum that separates the two hemispheres of the brain. Uh, and the result of that operation, or I think of certain kinds of injury or disease as well, is that the whilst the visual systems function completely accurately, you know the the eyes are damaged and the and various parts of the the visual cortex are all functioning perfectly. Uh, some of that information. Let me see if I can get this right. Uh, so the the information from one of the sides of the visual field doesn't reach that part of the brain which can process that information and turn it into expressible language. I think that's right, it's something like that anyway. So the effect is that a, um, that a, a patient suffering from this condition or having had this operation will claim not to be able to see anything from the right, in, let's say, the right-hand side of their, of their field of vision, even though all of the parts of the brain that's, that would require seeing seem to be functional. As a result of that, what happens uh, what, what can happen as a result of that is that if, if the test is done carefully, you can uh, kind of get, a per get the person who's undergoing experimentation to kind of guess what's in that field. There's various experiments you can do to guess what's in that field by kind of association of images or by association of words or by various things that mobilize the, uh, the, the reaching response, those kind of things. And what comes out of that is that Clearly, the person is somehow seeing what's in that side of their field of vision. They're just not conscious of the fact they're seeing what's in that side of their vision. Um, so they'll respond appropriately to uh, to a, 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 a test, which absolutely demonstrates that they are aware of what's there on some level, but that awareness isn't conscious. Um, or if they're asked to reach for something in that field of vision, even though they'll say, there's nothing there, I can't see anything. Whilst they're reaching, their hand will form the shape of the object, whatever it is, that's placed at that side. So clearly part of their embodiment seems to be um, absolutely engaged in that task, even though it's not, as I say, it's not doesn't reach consciousness, which is fascinating, I think. Uh, but one of the things I'm thinking of, and it really comes out of some questions, I think, that were asked of these patients um, afterwards. Some will say that, We'll just, we'll just maintain that they were purely guessing. It was just a guess. They, had, they couldn't see anything. It was coincidence. They, they would not experience any kind of internal sense of, of knowing. It would be completely uh, almost as if they were functioning as automata. But others will say that um, they had a kind of feeling about it or that they just worked intuitively or um, they just uh, had a kind of gut feeling that you know, whatever the, the stimulus was, was, was such and such, and that caused them to, to respond appropriately, even though they couldn't see the stimulus consciously. And I think that's something very interesting about that, the, the idea that um, not only are they responding appropriately, but for at least some of them, they are experiencing the, the knowledge of that entity that, there's re that they're reaching for or they're trying to identify. They're experiencing it as a... Uh, as an intuition or as a gut feeling, which suggests to me at least that even though the the, the kind of visual field the information isn't reaching those parts of the brain which can um, can generate a, a, well can generate consciousness but can generate an expressible response, it must be reaching those other parts of the brain which are perhaps um, making some changes to the somatosensory system. You know, put crudely, part of their brain is seeing something and, I guess, sending some kind of message to other parts of their body, to their viscera, to their gut. And the patient is um, feeling those feelings and responding in accordance with the feelings, not that their uh, visual centres, you know, the parts of the, of the thinking, that the parts of the body, if you like, that, the think that our visual centres usually seem to emerge from, but are responding from the um, these kind of shadowy senses that are more visceral. So I suppose I'm just trying to follow up on that. You know, what would it be like if our visual centres, if all of our visual centres, 
uh, operated in that way. If we, uh, if we had eyes and our eyes did the things that they usually do and they connect up to all the visual senses they do now, except they don't connect to consciousness. So we don't have this sense of looking out into a brightly lit world um, in this really transparent way that we do now. That, w that, that when we look we don't see anything. But there is a set of internal feelings that are going on uh, which correspond to um, which correspond to the to the to the visual sense which you know so the the light is still bouncing off the objects of the world it's still going into the pupil it's still doing the retina thing it's still do, going to the various visual centers but um, but from there it goes down straight it goes straight to the body if you like and generates those kind of visceral responses without creating this sense of an image of the world. I'm just wondering what that would be like. I'm guessing it would be, I don't know what it would be like actually. We wouldn't, we would live in a world of quite literally of feelings. Intuition would be completely normal. I guess we'd all have to be able to have, have that, you know, that, that sense that at least some people with blind sight are in touch with. I guess we'd all have to develop that pretty sharpish, um, it would probably have some knock-on effects as well, I suppose, because I'm thinking about um, Eugene Gendlin and his um, idea of the felt sense, which is nothing to do with visuals, but it is it is to do with um, kind of interocepting and feeling what that kind of shadowy, uh, ill-formed sense of the internal milieu is like as a way of accessing problems or as a way of accessing... Um, different kinds of relationships to experience. I suppose if we all lived in this, this blind sight world, we'd have a, uh, our experience would be a little like living in Gendling's felt sense the whole time. 